well so as i was talking about minimizing sum of squares of errors beta not beta 1 are your population parameters which are unknown and we want to estimate these parameters by using sample data what is ordinary least square ordinary least square basically minimizes the average square difference between the actual values of y and the predicted value based on the estimated line so as i mentioned earlier yes so these are your observed values these are your predicted values these are your the residuals if you take their square these are called sum of squares why do we minimize sum of squares instead of just sum of residuals please think over it we'll discuss in the class no इस कैलकुलेशन जो कैलकुलस है मैं इसको इग्नोर कर रहा हूं मैं इसको इस वक्त ओमिट कर रहा हूं मैं आपको इन प्रैक्टिस बताऊंगा कि ये आपने कैसे करना है यूजिंग डेटा कैलकुलस आप डू इट एट योर ओन यू वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो लास्ट पार्ट नो वंस यू हैव बेसिकली अप्लाइड ऑर्डिनरी ली स्क्वेयर we got best guess for intercept and slope equal to minus 0.2 2.28 and 698.9 means if you use any values other than these two values for intercept and slope your sum of squares of residuals will not be as small as by using these two values what is their interpretation let's see if you reduce class size by 1 test score of students improves by 2.28 units or in other words if you increase class size by 1 test score increase by 2.2 a decrease by 2.28 units means smaller the class size better test score larger the class size poorer the, the test score so more poor are the test scores change in test score due to change in class size hmm let's see ah that's interesting 698.9 what does this mean that if your class size is 0 average test score will be 698.9 interesting <coughs> wow wow so please keep in mind that intercept many a times has no economic meaning it has no practical meaning why is it included there are some three technical reasons to make sum of residuals equal to zero regression line passes through means and so on so class size zero intercept is 698 Have you ever seen a class size equal to zero? So, please avoid interpreting intercept where you can. If these variables are in deviation form, you can watch my, one of my video on interpreting intercepts on the same channel. but they are not those videos are uh, that video is not listed in this uh, 
playlist. So, now if for example we have a district having test score 658.7 and class size 19.33 around here. Here. So, you see, observed value is 19.33 and 657.8. But what is predicted value? Predicted value is here, this blue line. Now, for this 19.33, our predicted value is 698.9 minus 2.28 into 19.33, 654.8. So you see this is 654.8, this is 657.8, no there is a gap between these two there is a gap between these two 654 is here 657 is blue line so here your predicted value y hat that is less than your actual value so residual uh, 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 yeah am i saying the correctly yes your actual value observed value is larger than your predicted value so your residual is positive these residuals are positive these the, the, uh, which are above the line and for uh, values which are below the line residuals are negative why don't we minimize some of residuals because any large and any small residual extremely large or small residual can make sum equal to zero but otherwise line is not a good fit so we make sum of squares of residuals uh, a minimization for this you can you can uh, take any basic book to understand why we minimize sum of res uh, sum of squares of residuals instead of sum of residuals so these are your results this is an output but no, on video 1 and video 2, the concept we have discussed, I shall demonstrate in practice in our workshop on these two videos. So you have to replicate that, in that when I'll, I'll uh, produce these results for you, uh, and you will produce these results for yourself, then I shall explain what is R square, what is root mean square error, what are the standard errors and we shall also explain these things theoretically uh, some some you see uh, some basic concepts uh, in equation forms uh, thank you for watching and now our next task will be to play with this data and to produce these tables